my friend kama wewe umekuwa mjumbe umekuwa kiongozi ukawa naibu wa rais ukawa waziri katika karibu wizara zote alafu ile record uko naye ni moja peke yake eti mahali unaishi ilikuwa ni shamba ya serikali huna record nyingine alafu unatuambia ati slogan ya chama yako ati ni kazi kazi bila wizi nafikiri umechanganyikiwa my friend nafikiri slogan yako inataka kuwa wizi wizi bila kazi kwa sababu umekuweko miaka arobaini hakuna kazi umefanya na ile record iko naye peke yake ni mahali unaishi ni ardhi ya serikali na umeifanya ikawa ni ardhi yako so wewe tuliza boli my friend wachana na mimi the grabbing of the land belonging to honorable joseph murumbi kenya's first vice president and a renowned conservationist Indeed across here we know of the Murumbi collection at the museums of Kenya. Two, the attempted land grab of the Langata Road Primary School playground where innocent children were mercilessly tear-gassed and traumatized. And by three, the grabbing of the piece of land on which Western Hotel stands. It is in public knowledge that the land is public property belonging to Kenya Airports Authority. And before, who grabbed the more than 100 acres belonging to the late Adrian Muteshi, an IDP who died out of bitterness and frustrations, having fought for more than 10 years trying to reclaim his land, albeit successfully. The DP was found criminally culpable. Number five, DP Ruto should tell Kenyans the truth about who swindled Makindu Motors or millions of shillings where a businessman lost over 300 million shillings due to shenanigans emanating from Arambi, Arambi House Annex, his office. Number six, can Harap Mashamba tell Kenyans how he acquired large tracts of land in Taita Taveta County. Indeed, he has mended a habit to hop across to Taita Taveta. Number seven, what does DP Ruto know about the fake arms scandal where one of his bodyguards, Sergeant Kipigon Kene, was brutally murdered? Number eight, can DP Ruto explain what he knows about the loss of a 4 billion shillings of public funds meant for the construction of a roll and Kimara dams? Why was he so defensive when news of the scandal broke out? What information did he want kept out the public's eye concerning those collapsed projects? Number nine, DP Ruto should be ready to also give a statement on what he knows about the recent camera scandal that led to one of his bodyguards uh, to commit suicide. Is there more than meets the eye in that very sad incident? Number 10, I therefore demand on behalf of all Kenyans that the DP subjects himself to a transparent lifestyle audit. Let us be honest with ourselves. As leaders, in particular, and as Kenyans in general, we must learn to be accountable for all our acts and omissions, of, uh, acts of omission and commission. And this is what is required of us under Constitution 2010, and more specifically under Chapter 6 of that Constitution. In this regard, I urge Arat Mashamba to stop being hypocritical and to take responsibility for his misdeeds which stink to the high heavens. It is so sad to know that DP Ruto has been fomenting bitter divisions and he did a class war instead of preaching unity and cohesiveness. As a disruptor of law and order, he is easily comparable 
to the outgoing President of the United States, Mr. Donald Trump. Let us preach unity and avoid divisive politics that can plunge the country into chaos. Let us remember that we are one Kenya. This is our home and do not, do not have another country to call home. People of D.P. Ruto's ilk must not be given the chance to wreak havoc through hoofishly deceitful manipulations. They must be stopped on their tracks.